Okay, previously we've been working on this sidebar. We created this user item, which is custom. Now we would like to add actually commands. And actually we are going to use commands to create the menu, which is here. Because if we look at the preview, we get something really nice down here. Inside directly this input, we got the command here and we've got the command input here. So if I come down here, we can see that we can add the comments. So we're going to add the comments directly and see how it looks like. So I'm going to stop that. I'm going to use add command and suddenly it's going to install every component that we need to add these elements that we are going to use inside the sidebar, which is very useful. Okay, so I'm going to reuse that. And here we can see that We've got here the grow menu, etc. etc. So I'm going to use here this whole list of elements because I would like to have almost the same. I say almost because on most of the, the, the examples that we got here, we don't get exactly this. Okay, so the input, let's import it also. The command list, let's import it. The command empty, we import it. The command group, we import it. And the command item, we import it also so we get here the command separator missing okay let's come back to the application and let's see how it looks like so i'm going to run it again and we are supposed to have all these elements that we got here which are very useful so we got calendar search emoji etc etc so here there is a search i don't think i would like to have the search so i'm going to remove this and i'm going to remove the input and i don't care i got my elements that are here okay but we miss here we can see that we are missing the um actually the um, icons that we got here so we can see that here in the description we've got the calendar the icons etc etc so me what i'm going to do instead of having all of this i'm going to create up here a menu list so here it's going to be a static element so here it's going to be menu list and this menu list is going to take um, the model okay so we can see that we've got a group so here i'm going to add a group and here it's going to be a group called general so here in the heading we're going to have general then on the items okay on the items what i'm going to have is it's an array and in this list i'm going to have a link so here I'm going just to put the link. So when we will click on it, we will call the router to move to this path. And I'm going to add, uh, actually, I'm going to add a text. So we're going to have this. So the first one is going to be profile. And then after I'm going to have, uh, for instance, um, billing. Let's say we're going to have billing. There we go. Then probably before we can have another one called um, inbox. Okay. And after that, we can have another one, which will be logs, for instance. And at the end, I would have another one, which would be uh, actually, uh, no, we're going to create another group at this point. Okay, so we got this. And what I want to do is to copy this general group. And instead, I'm going to have settings in here. So here, I'm going to have um, general, oh no, general settings, yes general settings there we go after that here i'm going to have a privacy for instance and at the end here i would like to have notifications so later i will come back to every page to put my uh, slash in here maybe it doesn't make a lot of sense to have notification here probably i would like to have it in here and logs should be probably into the settings there we go okay so now i got all these elements what I can do is just to remove this, okay? And even I think I'm not going to put the separator probably after. Yeah, here the separator we will see. So here I'm going to type menu list and I'm going to map for every element. So I'm going to close that just after at the end. So we're going to have this. And here is going to be menu, which will be of type any for now. And after this, I'm going to have my key, which will be a number. And I'm going to put here, we can see here the key directly here. And we should be good. What I want to do is to return this element. Okay. So here, what I need to do is to remove for now the element that we got here. I'm going to go to the bottom for you to understand clearly what's going on. 
And on the heading, I'm going to use here what? I'm going to use actually the um, menu.group. So menu.group here, menu.group. So the name is not really accurate, but it's going to be enough for now. And here on the items, what I want to do is to loop again. So here it's going to be menu.options and I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to put here my element. And instead of having menu and key, what I can do is to put option and here option key. And as a key here, I can put my option key and we should be good. And instead here, I'm going to put my option. So I will have my option and later I will come back to put a link into it. So here I'm going to update menu.items.map. And here we should not forget that we would like to have option.text. So when I come back, look at this. We've got something really nice, profile, inbox, billing, notification, general settings, etc., etc., that we can use. Now let's come back and we can see here on the top that we've got icons that we can use directly in here. So I'm going to look at Lucid React. So if I want to look at the icons provided by Lucid, I'm able here to grab all the icons because if I look at my package.json, I already got Lucid React icons in here. So I can come back and next to every element, I can add an icon. So here, if I look to profile, I'm going to type enter or probably user. I think user will be more accurate. We've got user that is here, so I can probably here copy GS6, there we go. But if I copy GS6 and I just paste it in here, we can see that we call only user. So if I look for user from uh, here, from Lucid React, it's easier. So here I can put the icon, okay? And the icon is going to be my user. So now I can come back down, I can put my option text, but I can also put my option dot icon, which is here. So when I come back to the app, we can see that I got my two elements here and I'm going to do this for every icon that I can find. And finally, here is the result. We've got the icons and then we've got the text here. And if we come back to it, let's look, take a look. We display here the option icon. Here I added some custom CSS directly to the command item. And here I added a style overflow visible because here um, it's supposed to be for the command bar, but I'm going to use it in here. So there is a eight that is a uh, resign here. So we've got all the elements. Probably as you can see here, we would like to add some cursor pointer. And I'm showing you all of this because I want to show you that ChatCN as a design by default, but you can overwrite it directly in here or directly inside the component because here I'm doing it in here. But if I come back here to the command, I'm going to go down here. We can see that we've got access to the full code. So we've got the dialog content and we've got the command here with some uh, code that has been added in here. So I don't necessarily recommend you to go here and to change everything yourself, but you got to know that by default, if you want, you can add your own style to have some design.